Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video on modding and Hollow Knight uh, because there's been some uh, confusion since the uh, the game was updated in the latest patch that with the API uh, Hollow Knight mod actually won't work with the latest patch. And so there's been some confusion and I'm going to try to help those who need. So you want to go into your Steam, uh, provided that you're playing Hollow Knight on Steam. That's what I do on PC. You want to go to properties you want to go to the beta select and then select the 1.4.3.2 32-bit compatibility and that's going to down patch the game to the previous version and then also what you want to do is you want to hold on let me just delete it from my computer so we can just start from scratch You want to go to this address here. Uh, before you do that, sorry, sorry, one quick thing. You want to go here, percent app data percent. Go back to that folder, go to local, go down, go down to mod installer. Delete that folder. Get it out of there. All right. Then go to this address radiance.host forward slash mods forward slash mod installer dot exe I'll put this in the description of the video oops save the file go to your downloads and re uh, now don't know if this will be for everyone but for some your computer might prevent your more info run anyway Is this your Hollow Knight installation path? If it is, program files 86 forward slash theme forward slash theme apps forward slash common forward slash Hollow Knight, click yes. It will now download. This is also just for anyone who's new to modding. I don't usually mod games, but this, you know, it's pretty popular in the Hollow Knight community. Then from here, this will be your one stop shop. But basically every mod on Hollow Knight. I do recommend, especially if you want practice in the Pantheons, to go ahead and install the debug mode, which is right here. Install it. It will take just a moment. And then you can disable it or enable it. There's nothing in the README. The README's get rid of that. Uh, sometimes they contain useful information depending on the mod that you're using. For instance, if you go to the um, enemy HP bar, you can install that. Be just a moment. And then this will have the readme, for instance. Uh, I'll give the feature a mobile health bar that works for every enemy in the game, blah, blah, blah. Installation information here. Uh, so the readme is, you know, just have a quick flick through them depending on the mod that you're using. Now, if we go into Hollow Knight, one version 1.4.3.2. Go in. Now this will be. Uh, you see that you should see this white bar that's installing. Then in the corner there should be modding API debug mode enemy HP bar. I mean depending on what mods you've installed and mod common. Okay. Then we can. Have a look at this we'll just go into god home doesn't matter whatever file and we'll just go into uh doesn't really matter we'll go into the soul warrior boss fight here we'll have a look and see if there is the uh the hp bar yes there is okay now if you with debug mode pause the game and hit F1 and you'll have this menu come up. You can uh, bind keys to make make and load save state. You can unlock charms and skills, items, set, set dream gates, put on invincibility, infinite HP, infinite soul, whatever you need. It's all in here in debug mode. Okay, all right, that's basically just what I wanted to do, how to get around the, the, the workaround. Um, for modding with the current patch, you actually got to go back to the previous version. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like. Um, 
and leave a leave a comment below if there's any any bosses you want tips on just let me know i'm not good at absolute radiance so maybe not that one but you know other bosses there are um you know various tips you can have or if there's any sort of um uh, help you need with Hollow Knight that hasn't already been covered in another tutorial, uh, just let me know in the comment. And uh, thank you. See you in the next video.